If you need any Ultimate Team coins, head over to footcoinking.com. There's a link in the description. And if you use my discount code CHES, C-H-E-S, as you can see on screen, you'll actually now get a 10% discount for the rest of FIFA 14. Hey guys, how's it going? A rather sniffly, bunged up, and all round not really very well. Chez back again for uh, episode number 92 of my player here in Xbox One. As you can see, or could see, we've now got Manchester City in the Champions League. A rather important game, as you can see, in the group stage. We uh, A point is enough for us to go through. A defeat may not be enough, because if Fiorentina win against Celtic, they'll go through on head-to-head, -head, which comes... Uh, which is put before goal difference in uh, the Champions League group stage. It's the same way we got knocked out in the Dortmund career mode in the first season, hoping that, that doesn't come back to bite us again here with uh, with Bayern Munich. Fingers crossed we can get a good result against uh, Man City and get at least a point that we need to go through to the knockout rounds, and then we'll have the game away from home against Bayer Leverkusen to round the week out, or today's episode out at least, and uh, as you'll be able to see, we're away from home as well, unfortunately, for this opening game. Man City, an extremely strong side, and... Uh, if they play Thiago Silva and um, David Luiz, not David Luiz, Vincent Company at the back again, then uh, we'll definitely be up against it. Last time we played against Man City, uh, Thiago Silva wasn't on his best uh, best ability and uh, we were able to, to score a couple of goals. Hopefully that's the same. But uh, anyway, we'll jump into it. Fingers crossed we can come our way with at least a point. Yeah, you know, Torre and James Milner linking up down the right-hand side in the early stages. Man City starting Robert Lewandowski and Christian Benteke up top again for uh, the second time in this group stage. We've managed to get the advantage there. Now, if I can get around the defender here, I might have to play that early. But we've got the man on the outside. Unfortunately, it's Tony Cruz. who doesn't quite have, uh, you know, an accelerating burst of pace. But we'll try and stand this ball up into the box. There is going to be a man underneath it. A labber. Oh, good save down low by Joe Hart. In fact, it may even have come off of the post. I think I saw the line at the far side. Indicating a goal kick, they did, but still, decent start for us, moving down the left-hand side, having a chance, hopefully that's a sign of things to come. Lahm with a nice ball to Tony Cruz, Cruz on the edge of the box, tackled by company, but Lahm picks the ball up again, I'm going to get myself in the box, oh, he's not got too much space there, he's done well actually to get out of that, Philip Lahm, he's having Martinez into a labber, I don't really know where to position myself, but Muller gives it a strike from distance, that was a great hit. Straight at Joe Hart, but still a lot of pace behind that. Decent chance. Second one of the game so far. Call for the ball off Cruz and find Muller instantaneously. I can't quite get round the defender to make the run in behind, but Muller's kept the ball well. Cut up against Cleesey. He's Javi Martinez, I think that is. It is. Can we beat the man to the ball? No, I've just kind of face planted on the floor, unfortunately. But we've got the ball back and then we've given it away again. And Yaya Torres, the man sticking his foot in this time. City with some last ditch defending here, needing it to keep us out. We've been the most dominant side in the opening half an hour. Can we continue that for the rest of the game? Time will tell. Here's Cruz. Back to Javi Martinez. I call for through ball. We've got the pace. Can we get inside Vincent Company? No, it's not Vincent Company. It's Thiago Silva. We got inside him, but Vincent Company was there waiting. Here's a labber. Just needed to maintain possession there more so than anything else. Contento on a, a run forward again. Scored a goal in the last episode. That's nice football. Neymar had the shot. Perhaps he was going to try another pass there. It was a nice little intricate move, in fact. I may have rushed Neymar with a shot there. He might have had something else in his locker, something special. Uh, I kind of denied him that opportunity. Hopefully, he'll uh, be able to produce something else before the end of the game. Looks like we're going to go in at half-time at 0-0. Gail Cleese down the left-hand side for City. Trying to create something, but Philip Lahm has done extremely well to win a goal kick there. Mario Goetze came on at half-time for Tony Cruz. Which is uh, an attacking change by the manager, obviously wanting to get a little bit of extra pace in behind me. Tony Cruz is a wonderful footballer, just not quite got the quickness of feet that uh, Mario Goetze brings to the side. So hopefully he can be the uh, the difference in the second half. Of course, if things stay as they are, we're through anyway. But it would be nice to at least get a goal and go in front to make sure that you know our, our, our minds are genuinely put at ease. Trying to play Goetze in there, not quite got the strength that Cruz has to hold off the two big centre-backs. It's kind of... Pays over strength right now by the manager, but fingers crossed it pays off. Tory into Lewandowski, into Cleese, who's moved forward. Robert Lewandowski in behind. And it's 1-0 Manchester City. That was a great first-time strike on his left foot. A lot of power behind it. Perhaps too well. It was too much for Diego Alves to handle. Maybe the fact he took it so early as well meant that the goalkeeper couldn't quite get his feet steadied. We find ourselves 1-0 down. Just as I said, uh, you know, things were looking OK and we'll go through as things are. We concede, and now I'm not sure 
what position we'll be in because I don't know what the score is in the other game in the group but that is a great strike from Lewandowski so much power and pace behind that no chance for Diego Alves 1-0 Manchester City Albert Muller well he's got many in front of him but Yaya Toure is playing that holding midfield role absolutely perfectly he's contento City seems to be too strong for us defensively so far today Although they're giving it straight to Diego Contento. I'll make a run here by Neymar. Neymar might find Contento again. Contento's in behind. I don't really want to tell him to shoot or pass. Want him to decide for himself. Neymar! Oh, what a save by Joe Hart. Getting back across to save the second effort. Brilliant header by the Brazilian. Down towards that far bottom corner. The only place he could really put it to get a goal. Joe Hart scrambles down to his left-hand side. We've brought on Bastian Schweinsteiger for Javi Martinez. Scored a very, very important goal for us early on in the season. His Neymar, though, I might leave him and let him do what he wants to do rather than telling him what to do so that uh, I don't nullify any specific special moments that he might have left to uh, unleash on this City defence. But we've still got the ball. Here's Alaba. I might call for a through ball here and then stand it up for Neymar, although he's up against company in the air. It's not really the easiest of headers, regardless of how tall you are. But, but City are going to come away. and It looks like our current attack is going to die to a rather premature death. Clichy down the left-hand side. Already got one assist this game. Don't really want him to pick up another, but we could catch him on the counter-attack here. Call for the through ball from Goetze. Oh, it's well blocked by Vincent Company. We've kept the ball. He's fine, Steiger and Alaba. Goetze, that is a fantastic ball. Can I beat Joe Hart to it? Oh, it came out of his hands. Is it free kick? Goal kick? Corner? I don't know what that is. It's a corner. Chiefs. I've no idea what happened there. Joe Hart just kind of fumbled it. Putting the pressure on. He's coming my way. Can I win the header? We can. But I think that's going to be another corner if it goes out. It didn't. Oh, fantastic defending from David Silva to keep that in and head it back to his goalkeeper. That was a real chance that, unfortunately, we weren't able to take advantage of. 15 minutes left to go. I think we really do need a goal if we want to stay in the Champions League. Is Gertz. I'll call for the through ball from Muller. He's going to find me again. This time we are going to get there. We'll try the shot across. Goal. Oh, it's a woeful effort. Absolutely terrible. I've just got too much on it. Hooks it high and wide. We stay 1-0 down. We have won it back. We'll get it to Schweinsteiger. And he does have a rocket of a shot. But he's not going to shoot this time into Philip Lahm. Schweinsteiger should go the other way to Neymar. Has done it. I'll call for a through ball from Neymar. He's going to find me. Now can I find him again? Oh, I've just over... Just played the pass behind him. He couldn't quite get on the end of it, and the referee's blown the final whistle. We're in limbo at the minute. We don't know what the result in the other game was. We're not sure whether we're through in the Champions League or whether we are out. We'll drop back and have a quick look to find out. So unlucky that we weren't able to get a goal at any point in that game. We only got a 6.1 rating. Oh, if I'd have been able to find Neymar there right at the end, we could have got in. What was the other result in the group? Celtic 1, Fiorentina 2. Fiorentina did win. I don't know if we're through or not. I'm going to have to go and check. We've had a game rearranged. Oh, let's have a look at the, the Champions League. I really don't know because we beat City, but now City beat us. So, Copa Europe, Champions League next. Are we there? We are through, as you can see there on the left-hand side. Ourselves and Man City are through. Let's have a look at the group. We were Group C, I think. Yeah, we do finish top of the group. That's weird. It went for uh, it went for goal difference over head to head, whereas in the Dortmund career mode it went for head to head over goal difference. Really is quite strange FIFA in instances like that. I don't think it's coded properly. It doesn't know what to do in certain situations, so it just does a random decision. Regardless, we don't have any random decisions left now. We've got Bayer Leverkusen away from home in the next game. We'll jump in, hopefully get a good result, and then we'll be one or two episodes, maybe even only a singular episode away from the January transfer window coming this weekend. I'll try and maybe burst the acceleration, try the shot, blocked. We'll get a corner, though. It's kind of all I can do right now. There's not really much... Uh, scope for anything else at this particular stage. Maybe the uh, the corner will come my way. Now we're going to go short apparently. Here's Ribery. Ribery to Shakiri. Might try the shot. No sets up. Schweinsteiger drilled low. Shakiri with a diving header. 1 0 Bayern Munich. Fantastic reactions from Chero and Shakiri to get in there. I didn't expect that to happen in the slightest. I didn't even see him coming at the far side. We are going to take a 1 0 lead though. Nice shot from Bastian Schweinsteiger. Good save from Bert Lemo, but then Shakiri's just pouncing on it. Of course, current teammates in our Dortmund career mode series, Shakiri and Bert Leno. Here, though, adversaries, and uh, Shakiri comes out on top. Call for it from Shakiri, and we'll try and play this inside, although rather fortuitously it's come back off Volscheid's shins, and we're actually able to break away. Now, can we get an assist here, perhaps, or even a goal? Uh, pull back for me. He has done. Oh, couldn't quite find him. 
That was the right thing to do there. He, you know, pulled off the back of the defender, and I tried to drill it back towards him. I just couldn't quite find the uh, the correct ball to him. Tried to overstretch to it, and it didn't work. Here's Cheryl and Shakiri, though. He might be able to get a better ball in the box than I was able to. Schweinsteiger, Javi Martinez. He's got someone on the outside. Ribery offside. Shakiri into Schweinsteiger and Cruz. Cruz into me. Just about get away from the man there. We'll, we'll push on. Maybe Ribery will try and find us again. No, he's gone inside to Javi Martinez. There is a man out there. I think it's Rafinha that's pushed on. It is. Ribery might find him. Perhaps. No. Coming inside again. Javi Martinez. Just fine, Steiger. I'll call for it I'm getting a bit, I don't know, a bit frustrated with the fact that it's not coming to us. Although I try and get this shot across goal. My left foot still can't score with my weak foot just about into the back of the net there from Tony Cruz. In off the post. He almost made an absolute hash of that. But we are going to take a 2-0 lead. I'm disappointed again with my poor weak foot ability. I don't know whether it took a deflection off uh, the defender's legs, actually, to be completely honest. I think it may have done. Good save by Bernd Leno again. But, Chirin, not Sheridan Shakiri, Tony Cruz this time on the end of it and just about manages to squeeze it into the back of the net. In off the post, Bayern Munich 2, by Leverkusen 0. And Leverkusen come away, and there goes the half-time whistle. A much better first half this time then than in the previous game. 2-0 up rather than 0-0. And hopefully we can come away with a win and not a defeat this time around as well. I have to wait and see, but looking good so far. They are going to have some chances to get themselves back in the game, you might feel. So we're going to have to have our wits about us defensively, as well as trying to uh, perhaps increase the league attacking-wise if we can. I wanted to call for the through ball there rather than play it, but Gertz is on it. He's found me first. That's his good shots, good as well, but blocked by Volscheid. Schweinsteiger only as far as burnt Leno's grasp. Hour in then, half an hour to go. 2-0. Schweinsteiger to Shakiri. Good feet from Shakiri. Here's Rafinha. I might call for a through ball and he might find me. He has done. Now can I get inside the man? That's the most important thing. Outside the right foot shot into the bottom corner. Yes! That is what we like. Was perhaps going to go for uh, a left foot shot there but I'm kind of glad that he didn't. We uh, of course aren't very good. Only a one star weak foot which is still bemuses me as to how we haven't improved our weak foot yet but Nice turn inside. Thought we were going to have a left foot shot. Goes with the... In fact, he may have just cut across the ball with the laces on the right foot there rather than using the outside of the foot. Yeah, I think he has. Just cut across it. Decent strike into the bottom corner. It's 3-0 by Munich. Here's a ladder down the left-hand side. Feeds Ribery. It's going to come inside to me. We'll try and get it across again to Javi Martinez. He is going to have the shot. Ooh, just wide. That was a snapshot from Javier Martinez. Not seen that on his left foot before so far this season. Five minutes still to go. Still 3-0. Although we were very close to making it 4 there. There goes the final whistle then. We weren't quite able to make it 4-0 before the end of the game. But we do get all three points along with the three goals. So pleased with that. That's a win in uh, this competition. Unfortunately a defeat in the Champions League. But we progress which is the most important thing. Uh, a 9.7 rating. Not really too sure why I got a 9.7, but we'll take it, assist and a goal, which means we're going to have the chance to open something from the catalogue for the first time in two or three episodes, actually. So well, I will see you in the EA Sports Football Club. So we're in the catalogue, and the last one we can open is this shooting boost, which is very apt for us being a striker, but it's the last one I'm going to be able to open before the end of the series, I believe, because there's no way we're going to get to... Uh, uh, in fact, I think that may even be the last pro boost there is available. So we're definitely going to have this one being the last one. But we will redeem it and hopefully that will uh, help us improve our goal scoring form. We've actually, you know, not scored too many goals in the past few episodes. Our goal scoring has uh, dried up a little bit. We, will, of course, have scored a tremendous amount of goals already this season. As you can see, Max has played 30, goals scored 33 and uh, 8 assists. 6 in the league, which means we've now completed the uh, the accomplishment or the league objective. They were at 5 for the season. We've got 6 and they wanted 16 goals and we've got 23, although our projection has gone down from 60 to 41 now. Not quite actually on par with the average match rating and just above the goals to shot conversion percentage although of course in the next episode we will have these two games against Hanover and uh, Mainz and then I'll progress as far as that Dortmund game so we can see if we get any transfer offers in between now or in between this uh, Hanover game cup game and, uh, and Borussia Dortmund. So uh, that'll be for the next episode, which will of course come to you on Saturday. If you don't know what and when I upload, there is a schedule in the description of every single video and of course on the About tab of the channel page so you can find out 
what and when videos go live on my channel. Two videos a day, every single day of the week, 14 videos a week. So, uh, if you aren't subscribed to the channel already and would like to do so to make sure you don't miss out on any of the content on this channel, then uh, there will be a link in the top right as an annotation or, of course, in the description as well. You will also find links down below to my Twitter, my Facebook and my Instagram if you want to follow me on any of those uh, social platforms. And, uh, of course, links down below also to uh, the FIFA 15 career mode vote, if you haven't voted on that yet. Well over 3,500 votes, hoping to uh, to perhaps hit maybe 4,500, 5,000 by the end of the month when the vote closes on the 31st of August. I'll we'll have to wait and see. It's still very, very close. So uh, if you haven't voted yet, yours could be the most crucial of votes that sways it one way or another. But for now, that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching, guys. We'll have uh, Dortmund career mode and Luis Suarez's Road to Redemption back for you tomorrow. But for now... That's all for today. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.